Sloan is getting closer to herd immunity now that 70% of all adults in the state have received at least one dose of the vaccine. But as we continue to return to normal, WMER 2 News Ray Strickland reports on why it's still important to get shots into people's arms even once we reach that herd immunity goal. On Tuesday, Maryland reported 101 new COVID-19 cases. It's the lowest number since March 25th of last year. Hospitalizations, the state's positivity rate, and other health metrics also continue to decline. Maryland, a state that was once criticized for its vaccine rollout, is now being praised after becoming the 12th in the nation to vaccinate 70% of all adults. The milestone is putting the state closer to herd immunity than we've ever been before. The proof is in the numbers. I mean, containment is containment. So if you are seeing lowering numbers, and we really are, um, that speaks to success. Even with the state easing restrictions, virus numbers have continued to drop. Dr. Theodore Bailey, who is the chief of infectious disease at GBMC Hospital, says it's a sign that vaccines are working. To see this kind of decline previously, we had to resort to enforced closures. But right now with this drop, we're, we're not using that method. We've relaxed our enforced precautions and we're relying more on individual responsibility and relying more on individual vaccination, and we're seeing good results. At this rate, the state could reach herd immunity well before the end of summer, but Dr. Bailey says containing the virus also depends on surrounding states. And people are going to come and go, and so there's always the ability to introduce COVID into our state. He says the days of large statewide outbreaks could be long gone, but there's still concern about the new variants. Dr. Bailey says that's why even when we reach herd immunity, there could be clusters of unvaccinated people in communities across Maryland, making it even more important to address vaccine hesitancy and to get as many shots in arms as possible. And then we're still talking about about 1.8 million people in Maryland who would still remain fully vulnerable to COVID if they were to be exposed to it. And that's still something for us to be concerned about. And that's one of the reasons we continue to encourage our friends, our neighbors, our community members uh, to get the vaccine. Reporting in Baltimore, I'm Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.